What if I told you there's a new technology standard that could finally solve the biggest problem in AI implementation, getting your AI to actually work with your existing business tool. I'm talking about Model Context Protocol or MCP. And while it's only been publicly available since late 2024, it's already transforming how forward-thinking companies integrate AI into their flow. I'm Jesse Anglin, founder and CEO of Rapid Innovation. Over the past few years, I've been deeply immersed in the world of AI and digital labor, working closely with companies ranging from lean startups to large-scale enterprise teams. In that time, one of the most important shifts I've tracked is the rise of MCP, an emerging framework that's quietly transforming how businesses approach AI. Today, I want to share what MCP actually is, why major players like Microsoft and Anthropic are betting heavily on it, and how you can start experimenting with it in a way that's both safe and practical. In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through the fundamentals of MCP, introduce you to 10 powerful MCP servers you can start using right away and outline a realistic hype-free roadmap for integrating it into your own operation. Here's the problem every business faces when trying to implement AI. You have an AI assistant that's incredibly smart, but it lives in isolation. It can't access your JIRA tickets, it can't read your Notion databases, it can't connect to your customer data, and it certainly can't take actions across multiple systems. So you end up with this powerful AI that requires constant human intervention to be useful. You're copying and pasting information back and forth, manually triggering actions, and essentially using AI as an expensive search engine rather than an automated assist. This is where Model Context Protocol comes in. Think of MCP as a universal translator that allows AI systems to securely connect your business tools. Instead of each AI integration requiring custom code and complex API work, MCP provides a standardized way for AI to communicate with external systems. Anthropic developed this standard in late 2024, and it's designed to solve integration challenge that's been holding back AI adoption in businesses. Microsoft has already integrated MCP into their Copilot Studio, making it generally available just three weeks ago, which shows how quickly this standard is gaining traction among major tech companies. The beauty of MCP is in its simplicity and security. Rather than giving your AI direct access to your systems, MCP servers act as secure intermediaries. These servers expose only the specific capabilities you want your AI to have, keep your data behind your firewall, and provide audit trails for every action. It's like having a bouncer at the door of each of your business systems, only letting the AI do exactly what you've authorized. Let me walk you through 10 MCP servers that are available right now. Starting with beginner-friendly options, Taskmaster is designed to integrate project management tools like Jira, Trello, and linear. Rather than promising miraculous results, let me be realistic about what this means. Taskmaster can read your project requirements, create structured tasks, and update ticket statuses based on your predefined rules. The value isn't in replacing your project management process, it's in reducing the manual data entry and ensuring consistency across your workflow. If you're spending 30 minutes each morning updating tickets and planning daily work, Taskmaster might cut that down to five minutes of review time. Context 7 addresses a common developer pain point, keeping track of constantly changing API documentation. Instead of your team searching through multiple documentation sites, Context 7 maintains current API information for popular services like Stripe, Twilio, and others. When your AI needs to generate integration code, it has access to the latest endpoints and parameters. Uh, this isn't revolutionary, but it's practical. It prevents the frustration frustration of implementing code that works in tutorials but fails in production because the API has changed. Sequential thinking is more of a reasoning framework than a specific tool integration. It forces AI to work through complex problems step by step rather than jumping to conclusions. This is particularly useful for tasks that require systematic analysis like reviewing contracts, debugging complex issues, or planning multi-step workflows. The key insight is that AI often performs better when you structure its thinking process, much like how you might approach a complex problem yourself. Notion MCP provides read and write access to your Notion workspace, allowing AI to create pages, update databases, and retrieve information. The practical application might be automatically logging meeting notes, creating project documentation, or maintaining knowledge bases. The security consideration here is crucial. Start with read-only access to understand what information the AI can access, then gradually 
easily expand permissions as you build confidence in the system. Desktop Commander is where things get more powerful and more dangerous. This server allows AI to execute command line operations on your system. While this opens up possibilities for file management, system maintenance, and local development tasks, it also introduces significant security risks. The rule here is simple. Never run this on production systems, always use a sandbox environment, and maintain strict command allow list. Moving to more advanced implementations, Supabase MCP integrates with PostgreSQL databases through the Supabase platform. This allows AI to create test databases, run migrations, and manage database schemas. For development teams, this means faster environment setup and more consistent database management. However, database access requires careful permission management and should never include production data without extensive security measures. Memory MCP using Neo4j creates a graph-based memory system for AI interact. Rather than starting from Fresh with each conversation, the AI can maintain context about relationships, previous decisions, and ongoing projects. This is particularly valuable for customer service applications or project management, where context matters across multiple interactions. The implementation requires running a Neo4j database, so it's more complex than other options. Magic UI and 21st Dev focus on UI component generation and refinement. Magic UI can generate tailwind CSS layouts based on descriptions, while 21st Dev helps refine and customize components. These tools are useful for rapid prototyping and can speed up the initial design phase, but they're not replacements for thoughtful design processes. Think of them as sophisticated code generators that can give you a starting point to build from. Browser tools provides real-time monitoring of web applications, catching JavaScript errors, network issues, and performance problems. This is essentially automated quality assurance that can alert you to issues before users encounter them. The value is in continuous monitoring rather than one-time fixes, making it useful for maintaining application health over time. Finally, Pieces acts as a context bridge between different AI platforms and development tools. It maintains conversation history and context as you switch between VS Code, Claude, and other AI tools. This addresses the common frustration of losing context when moving between different AI interfaces throughout your workday. If you're interested in experimenting with MCP, I recommend starting with one of the simpler servers like Context7 or Notion MCP. Focus on solving a specific, well-defined problem rather than trying to automate everything at once. Document your security measures, monitor the result, and be prepared to adjust your approach based on what you learn. The future of AI integration will likely involve standards like MCP, but we're still in the early adoption phase. The companies that will benefit most are those that start experimenting now, build internal expertise, and develop robust security practices. If you found this overview helpful, I'll be creating more detailed technical guides on specific MCP implementations. Subscribe to stay updated on practical AI integration strategies. If you'd like a step-by-step -step installation guide, just drop a comment below and I'll share the full tutorial.